Hey there, and thank you for checking out my video on the beach perch. My name is Shoshana Such. I'm going to do my best to tell you the most important points using this flip chart so you can see it too. And whatever I miss, I'm sure will be on the Kickstarter website. But this is the beach perch where you can lounge at a slant. It's the first standing beach chair, and I do have a patent pending. A little bit about me. I am a professional woman. I have a corporate background and an entrepreneurial background. I'm an outdoors kind of girl. I'm a holistic health kind of girl. I live modestly. I'm not looking to take anybody's money for any bad reasons. I really want to make this beach perch go because I want one. <laughs> and I'm a pretty happy person. So what's the big idea? Well, I was floating down the Edisto River with friends one day. And I got home and I was admiring the front side of my tan. I love to tan outside. But the back side is always so hard. How do you do that? You walk on the beach, you can lay on your stomach, but then what? You have to turn your head from one side to the other and it hurts. If you want to read, you lean up on your elbows. That's not so comfortable. It hurts my shoulders. So I thought I need to do something. And then I saw my inversion table. It hit me. I saw the inversion table. I thought, oh my gosh, we could lean. And I was thinking of when we go to bars and parties, we like to lean at the bar. Oh, I don't go to bars. But when you do, go to bars and parties, lean on the walls, lean on the bar. It's much more comfortable than standing up straight. And sitting down isn't always good. You can't see far out. And I think mothers want, watching their kids might want to see far out. So I was coming up with this idea about leaning on the beach and then I thought and then for reading we could make like a viewing panel and with a pocket sewn on the back of it to hold your device, hold your book, protect it from the sun and the sand and it could be adjustable depending on your height. So a couple facts, I, I had others medically but I'm just going to say that it is proven now that the when you're standing it's just much healthier overall. It's better for your total energy and for your posture. So what I've done so far, and I hope I remember everything here, but I bought some aluminum, I bought some fabric, I found a metal worker named John McCurdy, I found a uh, seamstress, his name is Andy Broughton, and they helped me develop my first prototype. I joined the Charleston Inventors Association, and I developed an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, so that I could start talking to professionals in the industry. I also met this guy named Richard Pollinger who introduced me to many people in the industry and he had a successful outdoor company prior. I hired Stephen Freyer to do some photography for me which you're going to see in a moment. I developed this logo with help from my sister-in-law Liat Wasserman and she helped me develop, fine tune it and develop the lounge at a slant. And then I spoke to James Kindly, who's the director of business at the College of Charleston, who gave me a whole bunch of information about importing and shipping. Well, I really wanted to have it made in the U.S., but it's just way too expensive, unfortunately. So I do have to have it made overseas, but I will be bringing people on board locally to help me develop it and make sure they get all the credit they need. But these are some people I met on the beach the day I had my prototype on the beach with Stephen. And they agreed to try it. They found it to be comfortable. I've talked to about 60 people about this product so far, and I would say 30% are in favor. 30% really aren't sure, and 30% aren't beachgoers anyways, of the people that I spoke to. And by the way, I am in Charleston, South Carolina. Well, people who are fishing, they seem to like the idea of leaning because it's hard for them to get up and down to catch their fish. This is a picture of actually looking at a phone through the little viewing pocket. And then the way you can get an even back tan very comfortably, almost like leaning on a chiropractic table. People have told me that they can see that. Here's the glamour shot. But meanwhile, I needed a second prototype because that one didn't fold. And that's why you don't see one here today. I've taken it apart. I've tried different things. But I hired Orbital Engineering and they came up with a really nice design. Then I hired Kevin Gaskins at KSG Marketing to do some illustrations for me. I also contacted the Charleston Ports Authority and uh, they connected me to JAS Logistics, a guy named Toby who's been helping me. But here's the second prototype. Change the color of the fabric, showing some accessories. I'll use accessories that are already on the market as well as a clip-on cup holder. And I've got the fishing version which doesn't need the viewing panel because those people don't care about reading their phones and devices. But this one you can see you can sit up. You can stand and it'll also lay down flat. 
I think in the future I can improve the design. I need a carry-on strap. I was thinking of a heavier version for resorts. I've been thinking about a wooden version. People might like them at their homes. When I brought mine home just to check it out, it was so comfortable. I was talking on the phone, hanging out in the living room on my beach perch. I'm thinking about a children's version. And then I have to thank John Rector at Isle of Palms for this advice because he thought I should socialize it. And I have some web uh, development experience. I've had a marketing company for a while. So I thought, similar to what Photocracy does, if you've ever been to that website, it's a work site for, website for people who like to work out. And similar to that, we can all have a very brief profile. You register your beach perch. That, that gives you 10% off of any future purchases. But also, if you want to meet other people going to the beach, you can have a little chat thing where you can say, hey, I'm going over to Isle of Palms and meet up with people. And then you could even clip them together. So if it's really windy out, it kind of blocks the wind. That would be very nice for people on the beach. I do have a SWOT analysis for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Being from a marketing background, I know I need to have that. And I do have a budget. So I've come up with, if I were to do about 750 units, be a half a container, that's the most efficient way to place a first order. I've got legal, I've got shipping, I've got, you can see the expenses and they're going to be on a different format on the website. But the bottom line is $45,000 and I'm sure that's still not enough because there's going to be about $4,500 in fees just to get the money out of Kickstarter, which I'm so grateful for Kickstarter and the people who fund these projects. Special thanks, Larry Monteith, my videographer. Couldn't do it without him. And I hope that you'll find the opportunity to invest in my beach perch. It'll be yours too, $10, $25. I have gifts out there to give away. I really wanna make this something special 